Hi hi everyone, welcome to Wayne Secret. Today we're making some gorgeous Lord Issy dupe wax melts. I've got some gorgeous glitter here that I got from Supply Studio and you can see it's a gorgeous pink and gold. I always like to do my Lord Issy or Issimiyaki dupe or as it used to be known here, pink champagne. I always like to do it pink and gold themed. So I'm just sprinkling some of that gorgeous glitter into my moulds. What I like about this glitter is it has fine and chunky pieces in. So you get a good mixture in there. And it's not that expensive and a little goes a very very long way so that's all I'm going to sprinkle so far because I'm not sure how many snap bars I'll make out of this recipe okay so let's add some beautiful passion pink from Salt Kitchen. And I've got 700 grams of wax, so in goes 70 grams of fragrance. As usual, I've added it at 75 degrees Celsius, and we'll just let that dissolve and melt and mix beautifully into that wax. That colour is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? So pretty. It's time for the pour. Super fabulous, super pink and super strong soy wax melts from Eden's Secret.
Okay, so these have been in the fridge for a few hours, uh, probably about four hours actually. They don't need to stay in that long, just an hour will do. If you're going to do the freezer, just put them in. If you've just got one tray, just put them in for 15 minutes. I always get asked over and over again uh, the same question is how do you avoid leaving any wax in the silicon mould? Well, it's pretty impossible. Um, and if you've been watching my videos, you'll notice that there's nearly always a bit of wax left in the mould. It's very, very difficult to unmould them perfectly so every little bit comes out. But what I'm doing now is I'm just releasing all of the wax away from the silicon before I start to lift any of it out. And then, of course, putting them in the fridge or the freezer so they're nice and cold. Don't leave them in the freezer too long because if you leave them in the freezer too long, they freeze and, and they'll crack, uh, even just sitting in the mold before you even try to one mold them. So it's just a case of doing what I call frigging on. Frigging on with them. Push from the bottom of the mould up with your fingers like so. And then unmould that beautiful wax melt. So being quite lucky, there's no wax left in this mould. There is a bit of glitter, but that's fine. Now, if you're really, really struggling and it seems like you've got a bit too much wax being left over in the mould, try adding 10% paraffin wax to your mix because obviously we're making soy, can't soy wax melts here rather than paraffin wax or try adding some pillow wax or you could always use pillow wax instead of specifically specifically um, wax that's designed for melts now I would have spoken to soon wouldn't I that I always get some wax left over in the moulds but seems like today that's not happening gorgeous sound isn't it beautiful colour isn't it absolutely gorgeous and I just love glitter me do you don't you love glitter love a little bit of sparkle we always say in our family me and my mum it's like we've got a bit of gypsy in us, we think, because we love sparkle so much. And these moulds, uh, these wax melts that I poured short, they just go off to be the samples. Now you'll see we do have a little bit of wax here left in this corner. I maybe wasn't quite as careful on moulding that one and that's why I've ended up with a little bit of wax in there and then what I do with these I'll just break them into pieces and they'll go in a little bag and then I'll write on the back which fragrance it is and you tend to get those um, when you place orders with Eden Secret, if I've got any samples or anything, um, I've usually always got something that I'm giving away free in with my order. I can't remember the last time I did a, a website retail order and didn't put something free in with someone's box. Wholesale is a bit different because obviously you're getting the products for half price. So I can't really afford to 
put free samples in there. But to get wholesale, you've got to buy in bulk. Um, I'm not doing wholesale wax melts at the moment. Um, because wax is in seems like short supply and it's very expensive at the moment so you can't make it like an affordable proper what I call a proper wholesale price some a lot of people seem to do wholesale and just knock 10% off the retail cost and call it wholesale that's not wholesale wholesale is where you're selling in bulk and you're selling for around about half the price that you retail for so that the customer that's buying it they can then resell and they can make 50% profit on the product so that's what wholesale is really so there you go this is what the pink champagne wax melts look like beautiful stunning pink with some lovely pink and gold glitter on there and of course they will be wrapped in our signature packaging Okay, so we've got some lovely chocolate foil here, which I get from Amazon. I'll put a link to that in the description box. I'm taking my beautiful wax melt that's been curing just for a couple of days. Because even if your uh, wax melt is in the packaging, it's still curing. Um, it's not like so where it needs to be left out in the open. It is said that curing your wax melts give you, gives you a better scent throw with your product. If you want to know how to make these labels, which are 5 inches by 4 inches approximately. They might be a little bit smaller than that, but that's basically the size you need. Uh, to make a label for a snap bar and there you go how beautiful does that look absolutely gorgeous I love foil again if you want to see me making my foil labels I've got videos for those as well so if you click the i-card in the top right hand corner of the screen now um, you'll see those videos So if you ever bought my pink champagne soap, this is that smell. I discontinued the pink champagne soap because I thought I'd run out of the fragrance, but I actually found a bottle of that of it. So I've been using it in wax melts. Um, haven't got that much of it left. Um, so once it's gone, it's gone. I've just moved on to other fragrances now. I just want to try everything that's out there basically. And if you're interested in purchasing my wax melts, I've got at least 150 different fragrances in different categories. Um, so I've got a Disney inspired range, I've got a spring and summer range, I've got an autumn and winter range. I've got a range that's inspired by Lush fragrances. Um, I've got a dessert range. Uh, so if you like sweets, puddings and desserts, uh, there's going to be a lovely fragrance in there for you. My favourite in the dessert range, well I've got two. One is cashmere cream and the other one is absolutely magnificent absolutely love it it's a new fragrance i've found called gato de versailles 
uh, really delicious nobody's bought it yet probably because there's so much choice on there you're spoilt for choice that's a typical example of being spoilt for choice there's that many different fragrances in all the wax melts like as i said about 150 altogether uh, you're spoilt for choice so how do you choose right So rather than be called Pink Champagne, this is called Low Daisy. Because uh, this one is in the designer range. We've got a designer range of wax melts, meaning all the fragrances in the designer range are a dupe of a popular perfume. So hopefully there's at least one or two in there that you absolutely adore. But if you love Isimiyaki perfume, this is the one for you. These little bags are called cellophane or cello, C E L L O, um, self seal bags. That's what you need to put in if you're searching for them, whichever country you're in. And I guess you want to know how big they are. So this bag is. 11 and a half centimeters which is uh, four and a half inches 
by just under seven centimeters which is 2.75 inches the only pain with these is these things are really sticky pretty difficult to to get off your skin a bit of a nightmare these as a sample obviously the the depth of them is not as thick as the depth you get when you're buying a full wax melt uh, so don't be put off by the depth obviously the the full size bars are a lot thicker um, than the sample sizes Beautiful, fabulously strong and an excellent price considering the strength of the fragrance and the quality of the packaging. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you for another one very very soon. Bye bye for now friends. <laughs>